This video is sponsored by PokeTownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Looking for that last card to complete your deck, or if you're looking for TCGO code cards in the form of promo codes, uh, league battle deck codes, trainer toolkits, they have everything up on stock. Go check out uh, PokeTownStore.com and don't forget to use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. How wonderful is that? Also, this video is sponsored by cardmarket.com. This is a European platform that I personally use every day. You can actually buy and sell cards to people all across Europe, and it's easy to do so with this platform. You can reach thousands of people, and uh, you're actually gonna get rid of your cards that you don't need anymore, and you can buy new ones. So uh, hopefully you can check out the link in the description. The affiliate link is over there. You're gonna be helping me out a ton, and let's get this video started. I'm excited, peace. <laughs> So we do, but Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG video on my channel. On this channel you get daily Pokemon TCG content, so be sure you are subscribed. Today we're checking out 12 new cards that we're going to be getting uh, the set after battle style. So these won't be in battle styles, but are going to be in the set after that. And uh, this is very interesting, we see Brawly, uh, we have uh, uh, some sort of a horn, which is going to be uh, slapping down the Danny GXs uh, from their, uh, the opponent's discard pal and stuff. It's going to be fantastic for sure. We have... Uh, stuff like Beedrill, which is able to one-hit KO if the opponent has special conditions and all that. Lots of great stuff to love about this. We have Blaziken VMAX, uh, the uh, Galarian, Sloking V. So if you're excited for these cards, be sure to let me know by destroying that like button. Without further ado, let us just give my uh, first impressions on these cards. And uh, we are, of course, on PokeBeach.com, a very fantastic website to just check out the latest news on the TCG department. We have 12 new cards coming in the Japanese Matchless Fighter. That's very interesting because the booster pack artwork looks like this. And uh, we have Galarian Zabdos, Galarian Articuno and Galarian Moltres on that booster pack artwork, which means they will most likely be in that set, which has always been the case with uh, Pokemon featured on booster pack artworks. Very awesome. Hopefully the Zabdos is a fighting type which is very good in the meta right now. Eternus, you knock that out. Everybody's relying on Crobat, you knock that out. Uh, hopefully the Galarian Zapdos will be a fighting type and will be like bustedly uh, broken, like one energy slapping 100 or something if you come from bad. Just, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it'll be fantastic. We have uh, stuff to think about. We have Blaziken V as our first card and uh, this is a Rapid Strike Pokemon. So you could be getting it out with Octillery. You can be using Rapid Strike energy. You can use that scroll onto it. Whatever the case, this is a fire type Pokemon. And uh, it is attacking for a Carless and a Carless Energy. So two Carless Energy, 50 damage. So the Rapid Strike Energy could provide that quite nicely. And then Fire Spin, 210. And you have to discard two Energy from this Pokemon. So the Rapid Strike is like one Energy card, but uh, provides two Energy simultaneously. So that could be the card you could discard with a card like this. 210, I'm not too sure how to feel about this. I think uh, Double Blaze is already like better as a basic Pokemon. But this guy can evolve into the one and only Blaziken V Max. This is an interesting Pokemon because it can accelerate Pokemon, uh, Rapid Strike Pokemon on the bench. Its first attack, 60 damage and the opponent cannot retreat. Not a big fan of that attack. It's a 60 damage for one energy in the, in the past, like with uh, Donphan Prime, I would have been like, wow, when that came out and Heart Ghost was over, it was broken. Now with 300 plus HP Pokemon in the format, not as much anymore. Well, uh, the cute thing is you can knock out a Jirachi or maybe a Galarian Zigzagoon, if you have a Galarian Zigzagoon of your own or a Vitality Band. But I'm not going to be using it for this attack. Uh, although you can trap people in the late game, you can clutch them, make them trapped and then knock them out later. Interesting, but not the main focus of uh, the uh, Blaziken VMAX. Its second attack is uh, Max Blaze, 130 on the active, and then you attach an uh, energy card to uh, up to two of your bench Pokemon, a Rapid Strike Pokemon, uh, yeah, as a matter of fact. So very similar like, to the Volcanion of uh, the Steam Siege set. So Volcanion, you know that one that actually uh, set up a Pokemon on the bench. Sim pretty similar. And this can actually do it for uh, Rapid Strike Energy. So you don't actually need to have Fire Energies in your list to be playing with uh, Blaziken VMAX because of the Rapid Strike Energy. So as soon as you can get that, you can set up whatever you want on the bench uh, Rapid Strike Pokemon. So interesting. You also one hit KO stuff like uh, Zacian or uh, Lucario Mel Metal if they don't have uh, Metal Goggles or the Metal Coating Energy. <laughs> interesting facts for sure, but I don't know if it's gonna be seen play because you already waste a turn, then you have to VMAX, then you have to use an attack to set up Pokemon on the bench. I don't think it will see that much play, although setting up Pokemon on the bench that could have one-hit KO potentials could be something different. 
Next is Galarian Sloking V. Look at that menacing artwork. I do love this sludge coming around here and there. Awesome to see. We have mixing uh, its first attack. Discard a card from your hand, and then draw three cards. So this is a great scenario. If you uh, start with it, attach, and you can actually uh, boost your consistency. Love it. Great attack, the first one. Second one is Doom World. The defending Pokemon is knocked out at the end of your opponent's next turn. So if they don't have Switch or Bird Keeper or Escape Rope or Air Balloon or uh, Melolana, there's just so many switching outs. I don't know if this is going to be working out, but it could pair pretty well. If you just slide one of these in your list, you play maybe uh, Reset Stamp or Marnie and just go with it. You use Houndoom to accelerate the single strike energy onto it. And then just hope that the opponent doesn't have a way to switch out. Then their active Pokemon instantly knocked out. Pretty interesting to try out. Uh, will it work? Probably not because a lot of the decks right now are running four copies of Switch in their list. And uh, with Escape Row being reprinted in Battle Styles, don't know how to feel about that attack. It's pretty similar to Dust Norn and Trevenant's uh, GX move. Next is Galarian Sloking V Max. 320 HP, a 3 retreat cost, weak to fighting. That's not something to be proud of because uh, if you're playing a Darkness V Max, you would rather play Eternus V Max. If I'm being honest, this guy does have the max toxin, 10 damage, and then the opponent's active Pokemon is poisoned. Uh, and uh, during the checkup phase, put 12 damage counters onto it uh, every single time. So you need to be making sure that the opponent cannot retreat. As mentioned, lots of switches in the deck. That's a huge bummer for Galarian Sloking V and uh, Galarian Sloking V Max, to be honest. But 12 damage counters between turn that can stack up. And you can even use the Toxic Croak to boost that even to a higher level for every Toxic Croak out. Two more damage counters. So let's say you have two of them out. 16 damage counters between turns. The problem is the opponent could simply retreat. And also you can slap more damage thanks to single strike energy. So you could be slapping 40 damage uh, if you have... Or actually 50 damage if you have two single strike energies attached to this guy. Then use that attack and then you're gonna be hitting for like in total 17 damage counters. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the Galarian Sloking V Max. The Galarian Sloking V is interesting for sure. Uh, actually, it will also boost your consistency in certain decks. So it could also be a way you can play it. Just start with it, attach and draw cards. As we've seen, of course, with Zation. Next is the Echoing Horn. This is the one I mentioned. Put a basic Pokemon from your opponent's discard pile onto their bench. This is so huge for control decks. Uh, yeah, do you remember Galar Trap decks? Galar, Gal Galar Mine, Boss's Orders, they're stuck. This is gonna put it to a whole different level. In the past, we had to rely on like Mawal GX as well as a Surprise Box just to get that combination. Now you can get it in an item card. I think Sander Wojcik will love this card so much. Also, Icatropy, these tall players will just love this card. Not only that, ADP is going to be utterly broken. People always say like, oh, they're playing Mawal, just gonna discard my Crobat V or the Danny GX real quick. There's no escape. There's no escape, brother. You can just go uh, to hell with your Dedane because look at that. Just getting him out of the discard pile and slapping it down on the bench instantly. So, the Dedane Trappers. This is a great card. Echoing Horn. We will see some play with this for sure. Next is a, a Rapid Strike Urshifu that we still cannot read the entire card. It is a stage one, just to let that know. And it also dishes out uh, more damage for each Rapid Strike Pokemon in play. So. Little bit like do the wave. We'll see how much that damage racks up. We only have half of a translation for now. It also was not featured. Uh, I think this is the other half. We'll see. Is that 70 damage? Yeah, we'll have to figure that out. Uh, you're definitely gonna get an update on this channel for sure. We have Karen's Conviction. I love this card. We have Eldegos in the format. You don't even like have to bust a lot of copies in your list. But this is interesting. During this turn, your single strike Pokemon attack uh, deal 20 more damage uh, for every prize card they have taken. Let that sink in for a while. Let's say the opponent takes three prize cards. You play Karen's Conviction, suddenly you dish out 60 more damage. And out of nowhere, the single strike Urshifu V Max becomes the most broken Pokemon in the game, slapping so much damage. It's unreal. You can pair this with the single strike energy to even dish out more damage. So Karen's Conviction, a couple of single strike energies, and by itself, without even looking at any attack, he slapped like 100 damage or something. It's, it's gonna be ridiculous. Very great in the late game, so I definitely will be playing one copy in uh, any single strike deck for sure, because this is gonna be huge. Also, we have lots of uh, draw Pokemon in the form of like the Danny GX, Crobat V, so you don't have to worry about the draw part. It reminds me of Professor Kukui, but only gets better the more prize cards the opponent has taken. The only thing I'm wondering is like the opponent could be playing around it if they're playing a rapid strike deck to just to uh, get multiple KOs really quick in the late game. We'll see, but this is a great card. Next is Brawly. You remember, uh, uh, let's see here, what was it again? Uh, Bridget <laughs> getting three basic Pokemon, slapping them down on the bench. Yeah, we're back at it again. The problem with this, 
that, that I don't like is that you always have to go second with decks like this because on the first turn, you're not going to be able to play Brawly in the first place. Also, we don't have Tapu Lele GX. Uh, instead, we have the opposite. We have <laughs> Eldigo. So you will need to find a way to find this supporter on the first turn uh, and then it's going to be good. Otherwise, I think it's mediocre. You're better off playing Quick Ball than maybe uh, Level Balls or whatever you're playing. Uh, because this is only good in the first turn. You can search your deck for three Rapid Strike basic Pokemon and put them on the bench. So that could be uh, Rapid Strike, Urshifu V, uh, and then uh, Remorate, and then something else that you want. Interesting for sure, but this only works if you go second. Otherwise, you have to play four copies. Not a big fan of playing four copies of that supporter because in the late game, it sucks. <laughs> Interesting. If only the first turn supporter rule was not live. Let's say we had the, the rules back in the days of Sun and Moon, like not uh, Sword and Shield uh, first turn supporter shenanigans. Then this card would have been very, 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 very good. Right now, not as much. Next is we have a Subble crying its eyes out. Uh, not good. Although, search your deck for three Rapid Strike basic Pokemon and put them on the bench. This is like utterly like better than the Brawly because you can easily search out uh, Subble attached to it. It has Carlos attack cost, so this is better than the Brawly. I, I don't believe it. Subble is the way you should go. So first turn, like Air Balloon or Switch or Escape Rope, get your Subble attached of turn, get three Rapid Strike Pokemon on the bench better <laughs> utterly better let me know your opinion down below next is the uh, intellion very nice artwork here and uh yeah re do you remember feather arrow feather arrow is back fellas uh once during your turn they put two damage counters on one of your opponent's pokemon this tax for every intellion you have out this is a one price feather arrow the good news is that the situ i had back in its uh, glory days is that it has so much hp and you could use max potion this is clunky and will get one-shotted, so I'm not a big fan of Inteleon, although getting 20 extra damage, you're probably better off playing Galarian Zigzagoon and a couple of scoop-up nets. I think that is probably better than this one. Unfortunately, it's a no-no for me. Next is Beedrill. We have the artwork right here, but uh, yeah, uh, Verbank, uh, actually, uh, Poke Beach still hasn't put it uh, on here. We have the first attack, the Persistent Sting. If your opponent's active Pokemon has any special energies attached to it, automatically knocked out. Like, automatically knocked out. That's like Evelful Amazing Rare terms. That's crazy. The problem with this, I'm gonna say what the problem is, is that as soon as you see a Weedle, not attaching any special energies anymore. So people see it come from miles away, so it's terrible. Unless their deck utterly relies on special energies, but if they rely on special energies, they discard their special energies. If In the form of like Single Strike Urshifu Max, they discard their special energies, so you can never make use of the Beedrill, which is bad. Unfortunately. It's a second attack, also slips, slaps like 110 damage and discards an energy from this Pokemon. So for one energy, 110, it's pretty nice numbers to be honest. Power creep, in the past we were happy with 60 for one energy, now 110. This is a, st a stage two though. We do have access to uh, the one and only uh, Turfield Stadium to just search out evolution grass types. Very busted attack, like uh, for sure, but it's a stage two, which is clunky and people see it come from miles away. So it's probably like never gonna see play, but we will. Showcase it on the channel at one point just to have some fun. Next is the Welcoming Lantern. And uh, this is a Rapid Strike uh, trainer card. Actually, now that I think about it, this was a Rapid uh, this was a rapid Strike item card. And this was a uh, Single Strike uh, item card. So just to let you guys know because that means you can actually search out this Echoing Horn. Very great with Rapid Strike Urshifu because you can slap down like multiple targets. Like bam! <laughs> to just snipe away. Very good. And uh, here we have the Welcoming Lantern. Choose a single strike supporter card from your discard pile, reveal them, put it in hand. So, this is Versus Seeker for, for single strike Pokemon decks. So, that means you don't have to rely on Eldegos. You can just get it from the discard pile. Cards like Karen's Conviction, cards like Bruno. You can instantly grab them from the discard pile with Welcoming Lantern. Will this be uh, an engine or will people just uh, never let go of Professor's Research and Marnie? I don't know, but this is my first opinion on uh, these 12 new cards. This is going to be the set after the battle style set. So I think that's going to be March, April, May, June, June, July, something like that. We'll see what the next Pokemon set will be released, but they will be, uh, of course, featured on the channel here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to mouse that like button as it helps out the channel more than you would possibly think. Uh, yeah, and I'm also going to be giving away some codes. We have, of course, none other than... PoTownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. They actually have a lot of stuff up on stock. You can uh, use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. So uh, that could mean maybe peek around League Battle deck, maybe the latest booster pack in town, Shining Fates for instance. Uh, maybe you want to have Eternus, Zation, whatever you want, they have it up on stock. 
Also, there is a coupon code, actually a, a PTCGO code card on screen right now. It's uh, thanks to uh, PokedownStore.com, so be sure to uh, thank them. Uh, if you're a lucky person, be sure to let me know what you uh, pulled from that booster pack. And also, uh, we are going to be giving away a 5 euro coupon code for cardmarket.com. This is a European platform that I personally use every single day. You can buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. So definitely check out Card Market as well. If you are a European player, there is a five euro coupon code on the screen right now. And if you are that lucky person that got the five euros, be sure to let me know what you're gonna buy. Some scoop up nets, maybe a specific V Pokemon, who knows? Very curious to hear your uh, yeah, thoughts below. Anyhow, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again for tuning in today. I'll see you guys tomorrow, peace.